What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. First of all, Eid Mubarak to everyone. I don't think that is a recent physique update by the beast Akeem Williams. He is still 4 weeks out of Temper Pro and Akeem is one of those guys who aren't ready weeks out. He changes a lot during the final week. That shape, however, is insane. He's back with his old coach, Justin Miller, who peaked him for Puerto Rico Pro last year. And I think he looked really good in that show. But for some reason, he switched coaches afterwards. And he spilled over at the Olympia. It will be interesting to see how a young guy like Quinton stands next to Akeem. That front double on Quinton is so damn good and deadly. The problem with him is that he has a lot of what we call young muscle. It is extremely hard to get that muscle conditioned for some people. Quinton, however, has some of the craziest genetics that we have seen in a long time. His back has started to improve as well. Can Quinton cause an upset at Tampa Pro? I mean, beating a guy like Akeem Williams, who was off last year and still placed ninth at the Olympia. And by the way, that speaks volume about Akeem's potential. Biggest question is that which Akeem will show up in 4 weeks? Well, whichever Akeem shows up, beating him would be a big big deal. Is Antoine thinking about competing at Vancouver Pro? He recently hit his lowest body weight in years. He hasn't been this small since his return to the bodybuilding. But can he be a threat at Vancouver Pro if he comes in downsized but shredded to the bone? I don't think there is a chance because a monster named Ian is coming in guns blazing to smash the competition here. I mean everyone has seen his recent update. The guy is looking insanely shredded. Antoine's legs, however, can still hold their own against most IFB pros. But his upper body is always behind. That was the feedback he got from the judges when he competed at the Olympia 2020. He most probably won't compete. But he looks awesome at the moment. I hope you guys haven't forgotten about Ping Zhonglong who won Thailand Pro and qualified for the Olympia in 2012. He is one of the most exciting talent in the 2012 division and his conditioning was off the charts in Thailand. He is deep in his groove for his Olympia prep. Hopefully he applies for his visa sooner than later and gets that issue resolved. 212 is gonna be lit this year. With Keon Pearson firing up all cylinders and already looking better than he has ever looked in his entire bodybuilding career, there is a possibility that Keon will be even better at the Olympia because he wants to win an Olympia title before retiring. His transformation with his new coach is mind-blowing. Those pictures are just two and a half weeks apart. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you want to come back for more. Thanks for watching.